Welcome to Medlac Talk. Today we are going to discuss metacarpal bones. Metacarpal bones are actually miniature long bones that actually form the palm of our hand. While the carpal bones actually form the wrist of our hand that we have discussed in the previous lecture. So if you see, there are five metacarpal bones that actually present in the palm of our hand. Okay. And we divide each metacarpal bones into three components, head region, shaft region and the base region. But just keep one thing in your mind that the head will always be at distal point and the base will be at the proximal point. So if you see here that here are basically the five metacarpal, metacarpal bones, okay. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. These are metacarpal. And beneath you will see the carpal bones. Scaphoid, lunate, triquetral, passiform, trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, hemate. So these are basically the carpal bones that we have discussed in the previous lecture. Our main focus will be on the metacarpal bones in this lecture. So, before we discuss, we see the map for the metacarpal bone. So that's very much important. Lateral and the medial part. Okay, that is very much important. Lateral part will always be present at the thumb side. So here is basically the thumb and the lateral part will be at the thumb side. And the opposite will be the medial part. That's very much important. Okay. Next is the dorsal and the palmar side. The palm side will be the palmar side, opposite will be the dorsal side. That is again very much important. And again, distal and the proximal part. The part that is away from the center of the body is called distal and the part that is near to the center of the body is called proximal. So in that situation, if you see that here are basically the two starting and ending point. If you see here, here is the starting point, here is the ending point. That part is actually near to the center of the body so that's why it is called the proximal and that end is actually away from the center of the body so we call it distal part so that's very much important okay generally we discuss first of all head of the metacarpal bone so head is actually the round this is the one thing and the head extend anterior posteriorly more as compared to laterally. It's been that the head of all metacarpal bones will extend posteriorly or you can say anteriorly. It's mean extend palmar side and the dorsal side. That's very much important. Okay. Next is you see when you flex the uh, flanges finger then you see the formations of the knuckle. So that's very much important. When you fight someone so first of all, you just flex your hand and the knuckles will be prominent on your hand. And after that, you will fight along with, with the help of these knuckles. So here are basically, when you flex the finger, so knuckle will be prominent on your hand. So that is very much important. Okay. So this is the all about the head. Next, if you see the shaft region. So okay. The again, the second part is actually the shaft region of the metacarpal. So shaft region at the palmar side, you will see the concave. Concave means you will just remember cave like structure. Here is the cave. That is actually the concave. So at the palmar side, you will see the palmar side. The shaft is actually cave like, concave like. This is very much important. And at the dorsal side, this is actually the convex, except at the distal part, you will see the flat triangular region. That's very much important. So if you see here, here is the distal part. So here is the shaft region. Center region will be the shaft region. Okay. Now if you see at the distal part, you will see the triangular region. Okay. Flat triangular region. But overall, after that, you will see the convex region at the dorsal side at the dorsal side of the hand this is again very much important okay and last is the base base is actually the irregular in shape okay we will discuss uh, afterward okay so first of all we will discuss 
most important metacarpal is the first metacarpal bone that is beneath the thumb. So actually, here is a thumb and after that you will see the first metacarpal. So we give number to the metacarpals from lateral to the medial side. So if you see here, first one is the, here is the first metacarpal, this way, okay. Here is again, you will see the second, okay. Here is the third, okay. And here is the fourth metacarpal and last will be the fifth metacarpal. So we give number from the lateral to the medial side, from thumb to the little finger. So most important things which you have to remember about the first metacarpal is it is the shortest and the shortest, strongest bone or metacarpal. That is the first metacarpal. Next is the chef region. In the chef region, at the dorsal side, you will see the convex. Okay. So, dorsal side of the chef is actually the convex. Next is the head. Head is less convex. This is very much important. If you see here, here are basically other metacarpal bones are in such a convex form. But the first metacarpal is less convex as compared to the other metacarpal. So that's very much important and they are just broader as compared to the other metacarpal. Okay, uh, first metacarpal actually laying on anterior plane. So actually here is the anterior plane, here is the dorsal plane. So actually most cases, the this first metacarpal lie in anterior side, not it will uh, just lie in the dorsal side or you can say posterior side. It will uh, mostly lie in the anterior side. So here is the first metacarpal. Okay. And they can rotate 90 degree. So thumb can rotate 90 degree along with the first metacarpal. Okay. That's very much important. And not articulate. This is the first metacarpal or only metacarpal that cannot be articulate with the other metacarpal. Actually, other metacarpals are joined with each other, but this first metacarpal does not attach with any metacarpal. So that's again very much important. And next is the anterior lateral surface is larger than the anterior medial surface. So actually, the lateral surface of the first metacarpal is larger as compared to the medial. So again, this is very much important. Okay. Next, we will discuss the basis of the all metacarpals. That's very much important. That's actually, here are basically, that's the basis of the all metacarpal. So, first of all, if we see the first metacarpal. So, first metacarpal doesn't attach with any other metacarpal. Okay. So, if you see here, and this is the articular surface. They can attach to the carpal bones. Okay. Now, the surface of the first metacarpal is actually concavo convex facet. Facet means surface. Okay. That's very much important. Convex is actually look like this convex lens. Okay. But the concavo convex is actually the this face, this form. This form of the that is actually the form of the concavo convex facet. So actually they will attach to the trapezium. So actually you see the trapezium is just beneath the first metacarpal. So it's mean that the first metacarpal will attach to the trapezium that is actually the carpal bone. So that's the first uh, metacarpal. Okay. Next is the second metacarpal. Okay. In the second metacarpal you will see the most important thing is the groove. You will see the groove. Okay. And at the center of the groove, you will see the median edge. So that's very much important. Okay. So if you see that here is basically the lateral side. Here is the medial side of first metacarpal. Okay. Similarly is that this is the lateral side of the base and this is the medial side. Okay, so at the lateral side, you will never see any attachment to the first because first metacarpal will always be separate. Okay, next is the medial side. At the medial side, you will see the articular strip. That is very much important. This strip will attach to the third metacarpal. So again, at the second metacarpal, you will see the articular 
स्ट्रीट ओके इफ यू सी दर्ड मैटर कार्बल ओके दैट्स इन दर्ड यू विल सी मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट स्टाइलॉइड प्रोसेस स्टाइलॉइड प्रोसेस दैट इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट ओके सो इफ यू सी अगेन यू सी हेर इज दिटरल साइड हेर इज द मीडियल साइड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ यू सी एट ए लेटरल साइड यू विल सी आर्टिकुलर स्ट्रीप नाउ दिस आर्टिकुलर स्ट्रीप विल अटैच टू दी सेकेंड मेटा कार्पल सो इट्स फॉर्म ए आर्टिकुलेशन ओके and at the medial side you will see the two oval faces here here are basically black two oval facing that will again attach to the fourth metacarpal okay that again very much important okay and the fourth you again see here is the lateral here is the medial side okay at the lateral side you see the two oval facing so these two oval facing at the fourth and the at the third will join and form an articulation and at the medial side you see the one elongated strip and this one elongated strip here is the elongated strip that strip will again attach to the fifth metacarpal so here are basically fifth metacarpal again at the lateral side here is the if you see here here is the lateral side here is the medial side okay now if you see at the lateral side you will see the articular strip now this articular strip will again attach to the previous fourth metacarpal base okay and at the medial side you will see the never any articular surface but instead you will see the tubercle so here in case is that tubercle is actually present at the medial side of the fifth metacarp so if you see all metacarpal will form articulation except the first it doesn't form any articulation okay so that will be lateral to medial lateral medial lateral medial and so on okay now this is actually the lateral to medial side okay so these are basically the different bases of the metacarpal in different situation that how these bases will articulate that's why the first metacarpal is always separate and easily move the thumb so this is all about the metacarpal if you have any question you may ask in the comment section thank you so much